Hi, I'm Jeff Alban, The Big Game Hunter. I'm called The Big Game Hunter because I've been hunting down leaders and staff for organizations for more than 40 years. Today I want to talk with you about those, one of those tough interview questions, the ones that are designed to make you trip up. And, and today's question is, so, tell me about a time where your work was criticized. Now, this is a subtle question because it's basically you know, a different version of tell me about your weaknesses, except it's a much more pointed question. So you can't get away with the, I sometimes work too hard answer, which I hate. It's so trivial, but, you know, some people try it and some people it works. Most people, it doesn't anymore. But this one is much more pointed. Tell me about a time where your work was criticized. The way to approach this question is really very easy, but you know you have to make it seem like you're thinking about it. You can't just pop up with an answer instantaneously because then they know it's rehearsed. So you have to go, huh, what a great question. You know, Break your eye contact for a second, kind of look off, make it seem like you're thinking. That gives them the impression that you are. So I'm going to illustrate it for you. Go, huh. That's a really good question. Um, you know, let me just start by saying that there was a, you know, for years my reviews have been uniformly terrific. You know, I've I've gotten top grades, promotions. You know, you talk about all your successes and how you're evaluated, and then you go back to this time early in your career, and you say, but there was that time uh, about eight nine years ago. And you notice how I broke eye contact again? It was that time about eight, nine years ago, because that makes it seem like you're thinking about it, where your boss came to you and he said, and then you talk about some instance from way early in your career. And, and you pause and you go, and I really took that to heart because I understood that he was trying to help me really be a top achiever. And, and it really was a, a great impetus for me because, you know, Constructive criticism is great because someone's able to see things that I'm not able to see um, because they have a bigger picture of the situation. And early in my career, I was only able to see my own desk, for example, the you know, getting my own work done. I didn't understand that it related to other people and impacted other people. So you notice how what I've done is is. You know, I've said a whole bunch of stuff, including, you know, my reviews are great. There was that time early in my career when, and I understand that, you know, people are trying to help me because they, you know, they, they want me to be successful. And then you talk about how you took it to heart because you understood that they're just trying to help you. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's a great approach because uh, it's kind of like the feel, felt, found uh, clothes. The feel, felt, client, found clothes in sales is, I know how you feel. I felt that way myself before. But you know what I found? I found that. So it's acknowledging, uh, you know, in this particular case, what we're doing is complimenting, uh, you know, complimenting yourself. You're talking about all the positive things that you've done and how people see you. That there was that one time way early in your career when, and so you're acknowledging that there was an instance where you were criticized. Uh, you're talking about how your relationship with your manager and how what you did was, you know, you weren't defensive about it. You understood that they were trying to help you uh, and that you took it to heart um, and, and took action on it uh, and have really learned from it. And that's one of the reasons why your reviews are so good. So, it, like I said, it's an easy question if you can be a little theatrical. Remember, you have to act your way through this one uh, so that people think that you're really thinking about it and not giving them a canned answer. So this is Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, click the like button below if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, if, if you aren't and you're watching on my website or if you're on YouTube, come over to my website, jeffaltman.com, and sign up for a complimentary subscription to No BS Job Search Advice Easing. I publish that on Tuesdays with advice for job hunters that's good anywhere in the world. It's completely free. It's a $399 value I started giving away. Um, so... 
uh, refunded some money to people who were paying it, and you get it for free now. You can read many of the articles I've written for previously at my website, again, jeffwalpin.com, as well as listen to podcasts on my radio show, No BS Job Search Advice Radio, which I broadcast Monday mornings at 9 a.m. on Blog Talk Radio. The e-zine, the videos, I have more videos on YouTube, as well as jeffwalpin.com, the podcasts, Um, Everything I'm doing is designed to give information to people that's good anywhere in the world. So, you know, come over to the website, sign up for the easy, and go exploring. While you're at my site, you can also post your resume to more than 50 other sites from mine. Uh, Use the easy-to-work-with career builder links that are on the home page in the right-hand column. You have access to Indeed. Uh, on the links page and Job Search Universe on the bottom of the home page, uh, both of which search thousands of other sites concurrently for job leads so that you don't have to find all these places and find these jobs. They'll be served up to you from both Indeed and Job Search Universe. There's information about my books and guides to job hunting as well as other people's books. So come over to the site and just go exploring. There's a lot of good information. Of course, you can search my job listings there as well, but you know most of the site is really geared toward helping people learn what it takes to find work. Two more things. Number one, if you haven't already done so, send me a connection request on LinkedIn. The address is linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash the big game hunter. Uh, I accept connection requests from any, anyone anywhere in the world, except if you're a third-party recruiter or if you're in a country that's known for scams. I won't accept requests from you. Lastly, uh, if, you're, are you, if you're involved with hiring or your firm is hiring someone, uh, I'd love to help with the recruiting because, frankly, folks need help these days. And uh, I'm well-equipped to, to help organizations uh, find people and, and, and I want to help people find work. So if it is... Uh, recruiting, uh, send me an email at the address below and let me know who to contact or how to contact you. And uh, let's get acquainted and I'll help you with with the staffing. So this is Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. Hope you have a great day. Take care.